come down to timeout. You know, you, you're in a situation where LeBron's got the ball in his hands, and uh, they got to figure out uh, what they're going to do to stop him. And uh, for me, I just try to re keep relocating, you know, find myself uh, out there on the floor. You know, I got to that corner. Uh, Brewer helped and turned his head just one split second, and, and LeBron found me. You know, it was curtains. This is really pick your poison, right? It is, and uh, maybe a player too early, LeBron, went straight to the lane, uh, left-hand layup, so it was almost set up because they, they were making sure he wasn't getting to the hole, so he could have went either way, you know, with me on that side, with um, D. Wade and CB on the other side, but, you know, having me on that side, my guy had to, he had to make a choice, and I can't say it was the wrong choice, but it ended up being the wrong choice for him, so, you know, it worked out in our favor. I should know this, and I don't, so I apologize. But do you recall before uh, to win a game? No. <laughs> you know, and, and I was thinking what, as I stepped up to the frigid line, I was like, please make this free throw. <laughs> <laughs> and we, it'll be a better story to tell. <laughs> Ray, what, what are you more confident in, left corner three or a <laughs> 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 um, <laughs> The layup is the easiest thing in the world. Uh, more free throw. Uh, Free throw is the most agonizing thing in the world. You know, I, I think uh, it's when you get put in those situations, you just kind of in your mind you go back to you know that you know hour and a half you were on the floor uh, earlier that day, um, you know, shooting just repetition muscle memory. And so I never really worry about the situations that I'm in or the circumstances. It's just a matter of I've done this a million times. So you know they put me in a great situation that they team win. For a guy that's seen and done as much as you have, you've had two kind of signature moments in this building already as a member of this team. First hey, on, Tuesday, no obviously the last one tonight. Do you almost feel more comfortable than you could thought possible after three games? Uh, well, I, I feel it's interesting because you it's it's like a slow grind uh, starting the season and trying to adjust to this team and the players and uh, the system in general. Obviously, uh, the city has uh, welcomed me. Uh, there's so much adjustment all around, not only on the floor but off the floor as well. So uh, every day it just seems like you, you know, you're trying to figure it out. But I believe for me and for the rest of these guys, everybody's present in the moment, trying to figure that out. So you never know from one game to the next what may or may not happen. Uh, but for us, we always want to give ourselves a chance to win. And for me, just having myself available, you know, being out there on the floor. Uh, if I'm not on the floor, what can I help? How can I help? Uh, the guys see the game from the bench, uh, just you know, giving the coaches a little bit of information. So, you know, this is one thing uh, team-wise that I've uh, really appreciated about a lot of the guys here is that, you know, you take uh, James, you take Mike, um, Shane. Those guys are ultimate professionals. You know, they they're ready whenever called, and you know, they shoot the ball better than me. So. Um, it's always, I always feel like I'm representing them whenever I step out on the floor. So, you know, it's about preparation, and I think as a team, we'll get better um, as the, the season goes along. How did you feel out there? How did you feel out there tonight compared to the opener? Um, well, I'm always nervous, uh, no matter what. Uh, just that you want everything to go right, uh, you want everything to be perfect, but basketball is an imperfect game. And um, obviously, I had uh, jitters being the first game here. Uh, but again, you go back to what you know. You go back to uh, you know the preparation that you put in. So you know the practice time you put in. You know by yourself with the team is real. So whenever you step into these moments with, with people out here in the, uh, in the building, whether you're home or road, you just go back to those moments, and you could you have something that you could always rely on. Did you have a 